Hello and welcome to CloudBees. Today I'm going to walk you through a CloudBees feature flags tutorial. We will use Node.js as our language and we're going to cover several things. First I'll walk you through the basics so you can replicate this at your leisure and hopefully learn from it. Then we'll walk through our first Node.js feature flag. We'll walk through a useful exercise of best practices separating our configuration and code and then finally, we'll get into centrally managing this example with implementing and controlling feature flags through CloudBees feature flags. So this is what I have for an environment. It's very simple. It's a Vagrant VirtualBox combo. I'm downloading uh, CentOS 7.4. I've got my IP address here. Very small, low-powered VM, one CPU, one gig of memory. And you can see that I've got Node and NPM installed. And I've also got CentOS Linux as I requested. To go over the application, I've got a package.json which is uh, working with the node package manager. I generated this using npm init and as if you use this, you will see it just answers the questions and fills out a file for package.json. We will not do that here. But I'll show you what I have. It's got a name, a version, a description. The main thing to point out here is our index.js. That's our entry point, which we will look at next. There's our index.js. We're using this host name and port. We're creating a server. On that server, we're going to display an H1 HTML tag saying CloudBees feature flags, status codes, as well as a console log. So without further ado, let's try it out. And I will grab this. Away. And there it is. Hello, CloudBees feature flags, just like we expected. The next thing we want to do is modify our index.js with a feature flag. And to control it, we'll set up a Boolean. If you notice a little pause in my mouse motions, what I'm doing is sparing you the pain and suffering of watching me type and the subsequent errors that would come by me typing things in and messing up. So I'm copying and pasting the code and hopefully that'll make for a more pleasant recording and demonstration experience. So what I've done is I've got my subtitle that's going to be my feature and I'm going to toggle it with a boolean and then I'm going to put a conditional here if that subtitle is set to true in addition to the h1 tag add, add an ht h3 tag with a subtitle, and that'll serve for a nice little demonstration. Run that thing again, and there we have it. We have our feature flag. So we've got the basics, we've got the feature flag. Now let's look at a best practice of separating configuration and code. I'm going to open a config.json here. And I'm going to move some of the parameters that should be more configuration related out of the index.js and into the config.json. Then I'm going to edit index.js. And change those instead of hard coded values to reference the values from the config files. And we're reading in the config.js, setting the host name to the configuration value of that, same for the port and same for the subtitle. We should expect absolutely nothing different, but as a test, I'm going to run this just to make sure it works. You go over here and refresh your server, and there we have it. It works the same, but it's just 
built a little differently with a little more best practice to it. Next, we are going to go into CloudBee's feature flags and work on managing this. So I'll create a new app. The name of this app is going to be CloudBee's feature flags demo. I'll hit the start installation. And then that will bring us up to show us that we're in a trial. So you can do this with a trial. Uh, you can upgrade it if you want, we'd love that. But let's jump right to our installation instructions. And it steps you through exactly how you should do this uh, and implement it. You have your CloudBees feature flag app name that we did earlier. You can use just the production environment for a test. Run, and since this is a trial, or you can create other environments and get a little more realistic. Next we need to sub select our platform and I'm going to select JavaScript and Node.js and notice it fills in step four once we do that first thing we need to do is add CloudBees feature flags to our application. And so we took it right from the instructions and just copied and pasted. To verify that that works, we'll cat our package.json out and notice that the dependencies for CloudBees feature flags has been added. From there, we want to add an API key. And I will change that from a previous exercise in this recording to the current one. Then we'll modify our code. to bring in the CloudBees feature flag to this particular application. This is why you don't want me to type. And then from there, we will go down here and enter it as setup into our application with the API key. Now, if this works as we expected, you should see the installation instructions go away and that a confirmation that this application has actually been referenced and registered and set up correctly, and it has. You get the nice green banner reminding you you still have the option to upgrade, as well as a message that you've successfully run your feature code. So now we can have some fun in modifying this. The first thing we're going to do is set up a uh, flags container. Add that, and then once we've got that set up, we need to register that container in our code down at the bottom of the page. OK. 
Okay. Once we have that, let's click on our flags over here and notice that we actually have the flag showing up inside of CloudBee's feature flag. Next on the list, is take out the show subtitle flag that we were using in our setup. We can do that as well here. And instead of looking for sh the subtitle, we can actually look for the Cloud B's implementation of that. And then now we will not be touching the code anymore, but we will manage everything through CloudBees feature flags. Notice it's running. And you'll notice that the first time through, the feature flags are automatically set to false. So that goes away. But we can go back here to CloudBees feature flags, set up an experiment, create a new experiment since this is our first one. And this is how we control the feature flag to the various audiences that we will have, be they percentages, you know, groups of users, you name it. This particular one does not have an audience. So we will just toggle the visibility since this is a demo. You can see that it's active. You can see we can actually set that to true, update the audience, refresh this, and that comes back to true. Say that that was a complete bomb and we wanted to turn it off, we can either uh, delete the experiment, uh, kill it or whatever. But anyway, we're just gonna keep it active and turn it off. And there you have it. CloudBees feature flags demonstrated with Node.js. And I thank you for listening.